Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. If there is a specific issue for which you would like to see a video, please leave a comment. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to extend a QEMU KVM virtual machine disk to be used in Virtual Machine Manager on Ubuntu, but this will be widely applicable to different Linux distributions. It can happen that your guest virtual machine is running out or is running low on storage space. Make sure your virtual machine is down before we start with the next steps and also any snapshots related to the virtual machine will need to be deleted. I am going to assume that you know where the virtual hard disks with the extension .qcow2 are located on your file system. Open a terminal and navigate to this location. In my case, this is Mount Points Data SSD VMs. You can see the various .qcow2 files listed here. We are going to extend the Linux 2022.qcow2 file, which is currently around 21 gigabytes, according to this very large number. Just a quick tip to display file sizes in a more human readable format, add the dash h parameter in the ls command. It will now be automatically translated to megabytes and gigabytes. Now to actually extend the virtual hard disk file, type qemu-img, resize, then the name of the virtual hard disk, and then the size, so 40 gigabytes in my case, and the command will very quickly return image resized. When you list the directory contents, the size is still the same and nothing appears to have happened. This is normal because thin provisioning is being used and the space simply isn't allocated yet. What you can do now is to start the virtual machine and resize the partition from within the guest operating system. I personally have had mixed success with this and I use the following method. I am going to mount the dot QCOW2 virtual hard disk in my local operating system, in this case Ubuntu. For this, we need the kernel loadable module NBD. To load this module, type the command sudo modprobe nbd max underscore part equals 10. This will allow for a virtual hard disk with a maximum of 10 partitions. In most cases, this will be plenty. Now connect the virtual hard disk to the mount point def nbd0. Type sudo qemu nbd c def nbd0 and then the name of the virtual hard disk. In my case, linux 2022.qcow2. The virtual hard disk is now mounted to the local operating system and we can use local tools to resize the partition. I am going to use gparted for this. Type gparted def nbd0. I am showing this on purpose because in case gparted is not installed, like in this case, install it with sudo apt install gparted. Type yes to install the packages and try the earlier command again. The gparted program is going to detect not all of the disk space is being used and is going to suggest to fix it. That's what we want, so click fix. Now gparted opens and we can clearly see the unallocated space we added earlier. Right click the partition, click resize slash move, take the slider and extend until there is no empty space left. Click the green check mark and select apply. Click close when finished and if you want you can study the details. Click close again and quit the gparted application. When you now list the directory contents, the size is still the same and once again nothing appears to have happened. This is normal. Now disconnect the virtual hard disk from the local machine with the command sudo qemu-nbd-d def nbd0. Now start the virtual machine in Virtual Machine Manager and check the available space with the local command. This can be pretty much every operating system running inside this host. In this case it is Linux Mint, so I'm going to use the command df 
8. You can clearly see that there is 24 gigabytes of space left and the total partition size is now the extended size. As I mentioned before, you can also just allocate more space to the virtual hard disk and then extend the size inside the virtual machine operating system. I just like to do all of this from the local machine, completely outside of the virtual machine while it is down. Imagine for example that this is the root file system drive for Linux or FreeBSD or it's the system C drive for Windows. If that one is completely filled up, it can happen that the VM can't even boot properly. And with this method, the situation can be resolved by resizing the virtual hard disk outside of the virtual machine. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.